What is going on guys? Welcome back to Run My Crypto. So we're going to talk about Myria. Now this project has been getting a lot of fuss from a lot of influencers. So what do I do? I dive into it because of course I want to give you guys the best insight that I possibly can. So we're going to talk about it. But what I also discovered is can the collaboration with Internet Computer and Ethereum generating the CKETH can that help this project since this is a layer two project built on Ethereum? Does it have access to that? We're going to talk about that. So make sure you watch all the way through to the end because you don't want to miss out on all this great information. Let's get into the video. All right, all right. So this video is brought to you by the 10X Squad. If you guys are interested in looking at the 10X Squad, this is the Rub My Crypto Patreon. The link is in the description. So let's get into Myria and let's look at this. What have they designed? So Myria has essentially designed a gaming platform for Web3 decentralization. They built their system on top of Ethereum. So that is a plus, right? Because they've built a system that is Web3 decentralized for gaming and NFT. Now, building it on Ethereum as a layer two helps them utilize the Ethereum blockchain. So what they can do on the <clears throat> Maria side of things is actually they could build fast transactions, zero gas fees, so on and so forth, etc. But utilizing the Ethereum blockchain is where the money is right so if we look at what uh, uh miria has built so they built a layer two with no gas fees high scalability how did they do that they basically what they do is they put their platform together they build all their um project and what they do to integrate it within ethereum is built it on a layer two <clears throat> and what they do is they utilize zk so zero knowledge to be able to transfer um, their information to Ethereum. So how do they do that? They basically use something called a ZK Stark. Now what that is, is basically if, to put it in the easiest, simplest terms, it's creating a zip file. So what happens is all these transactions that go uh, from Myria, Myria go into a little folder or a file or a snapshot or however you want to look at it. So there's multiple transactions and then they use the the zero knowledge Stark to basically upload all these transactions on chain through Ethereum. Now, let's look at some of their gaming features that are, I, they're they're good. I would compare it to something to Gala Games. Now, comparing it to something like Alluvium, I think Alluvium has by far got the best uh, graphics and best gaming, but. When you look at a project like Myria, they actually have some good stuff in there. So going into there, I actually reviewed one of their games because I thought it was super cool. And I think it's, uh, you know, something interesting that I sh feel like I should share with you. So let's go ahead and look at their gaming system that Myria has in place to get the attention of users or investors or whoever's interested in gaming crypto. Let's check this out. All right, so here's the actual Myria website. So what I want to do is look at their ecosystem and show you guys some of their gaming or some of the games that they actually have inside here. So if you look, there's actually a genre of games, which means there's a ton of games on here that they're being uh, developed or already have developed. But a game that I actually looked at that I thought was pretty cool is this Zone 9 uh, game right here. Um, the reason why I like this game so much is because I was a big fan of like COD, Call of Duty, and it has a basic um, kind of like the same uh, setting as Call of Duty. So you can actually go on there and do like some 1v1s or 2 versus 2, 5 Battle Royale and many other um, edition. Uh, there's pretty cool graphics with this game. So I think this was pretty cool when it comes to the way that they've set up some of their gaming ecosystem. Um, I'm a big guy. Uh, who likes to uh, play <laughs> so I'm really big into like uh, Call of Duty shooter game shooting game stuff like that so that's what was very interesting so this is a pretty cool game uh, I just wanted to share that with you and share the the amount of games that they actually have on here um, and they're cool like you look at some games from Gala games and you compare it mm, not not as cool as I think these games are so that's a plus for me uh, with Myria 
So let's head back over to the video real quick so we could talk about their NFTs. So aside from having a huge plethora of games, right? So they also have some NFTs and the NFTs are basically geared uh, towards some of the games, uh, which I mean, it's expected from a cryptocurrency project that's in the gaming sector to have NFTs tied uh, to the games that they have and the games that they play in there. But there is also a space for uh, graphic arts and stuff like that when it comes to NFTs. And that's really cool, right? So <clears throat> if uh, Myria can deliver on uh, staying up with the games and continuously promoting gaming within this platform, I think they're going to do really well because there is a lot of gamers that are in the crypto space. And generally, that's what interest a lot of uh retail investors are crypto gaming so crypto gaming is going to be real big i think in the next uh, bull run i think that we're going to have a big portion of money start to flow in from crypto gaming now alluvium is probably one of my best gaming um uh, cryptocurrencies but Myria actually is giving them a run for their money because they're developing a lot better than gala games in my opinion i think that personally this may be better than gala games that's just my opinion i don't know it's up to you to make the decision on that. So you go in there, you do the research, and you say if it's better than Gala Games or not. But what I do like about Myria is that you could actually create some passive income if you're participating in the project. Now, what I mean by that is if you sign up to run a node um, or be a node supplier on your computer, you could actually gain rewards, and it's daily rewards of Myria to run nodes on uh, the platform which is also cool is not only do they pay you rewards in Myria but they also put you in a, a position to receive airdrops of NFTs that come out so that's a huge plus because once the NFT market kicks up again I'm personally not a big fan of NFTs because I've had bad experiences with them and there's really just too many to be able to sort out to find out which is going to be the best one so but anyways if you look at it and you run a node and you get rewards in uh, Myria not only that, you could get airdropped NFTs. That's a huge plus because now you're you're building some type of passive income um, just by providing a node service for Mary as a project. I do think that that's very valuable, especially if you get a lot of people involved in doing that. That helps support the actual blockchain, uh, the layer two blockchain that Myria has put in place, and help run it and help help it get out to the. The bigger gaming uh, enthusiasts for cryptocurrency so one more thing let's talk about let's talk about how this blockchain actually works um, piece by piece to make it successful and how I believe we may be able to incorporate some of uh, the CKETH uh, within this blockchain so I think I touched on the blockchain stuff a little bit but I really want to kind of give you an idea of how this really works um, how the system works and being able to integrate within ethereum and how does that happen so so let's talk about firstly um the platform right so so the platform that um, myria has built is obviously it's a layer two that's integrated within ethereum now i think ethereum was one of the best uh computing systems that we had available prior to internet computer coming out so my my question was initially like if we integrate ethereum with internet computer does that allow layer twos that are built on ethereum to access internet computer we're gonna have to get into that so looking at the way that myria has positioned themselves to utilize ethereum so what the zk stark is i think i touched on it earlier so the zk stark you have zk snarks and then you have zk starks um, the really the only difference between them is sort of um, the way they transfer from one from one blockchain to another. So if you look at something like Stark, what it does is collectively take a bunch of transactions, put it in a in a snapshot or a folder, and then transfer it on chain so that those traction those transactions could be validated on Ethereum. So on this side of things, so on the Myria side of things, there's zero gas fees. Uh, their instant transaction so it gets everything working and then we get it on chain through ethereum now with internet computer being involved everything runs on chain so if ethereum is integrated into icp or internet computer does that mean all the layer twos that are running on ethereum or that are uploading into ethereum's mainnet are they have do they have access to the internet computer uh platform or the cloud the serverless cloud i don't that's a question that I'm going to look into and I'm going to have an answer. But if that is available, I do believe that it's going to help this project, specifically Myria, to actually start to scale out to the broader 
internet computer platform and Ethereum platform. So just looking at this project solely, I do believe it has an opportunity to scale out massively if this is true. So we know right now the internet computer is building within Ethereum and trying to finalize the CK ETH, um, which is the chain key connection integration from um, internet computer to Ethereum. So why I say this and why I mention this, because this platform for uh, Myria is actually extensive. I think they're building a huge gaming uh, project. So I'm going to have to say that this thing is this project uh, Myria has the potential to scale out massively and uh, that's kind of way the way I see it uh, now this did with this ability I believe that this project Myria specifically with having uh, the the focus on building the gaming and the NFT space and scaling out within Ethereum and potentially scaling out with internet computer this may drive this to be um, a pretty big project, especially in the next coming months into 2024 and 2025, because the games that are listed on this project are very good games, in my opinion. And these games, these type of specific games are what people are looking to play. You know, not a lot of people are interested and there are some within the collection space of, you know, NFT cards and, and stuff like that. But I believe that the the power of games if you look like if you look at like call of duty is one of the biggest sold selling games uh, uh in the past couple years now some games like this if they keep down that line they're going to make massive amounts of money so i do believe if we were able to integrate this project within internet computer and ethereum this project will blow up way bigger than us any that i've ever seen so aside from having all the uh, right tools in place, I think we need to look a little bit deeper at Myria. Um, let's take a look at their Twitter and see what that looks like. And then obviously um, we'll see what kind of community they have behind them. So let's check out their Twitter. All right, so we'll head over to my Twitter account. This is where you can actually check out the 10X Squad T right here. There's a link right here if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter page is in the description as well. So let's head over let's take a look at Myria so <clears throat> right now if we look at they have about 225,000 followers which is very good especially for a newer project um, their engagement 47,000 188,000 they got a lot of engagement on their their Twitter it seems like they're continuously posting updates um, this is very good backstage pass AMA inside game NFTs I would probably uh, urge you to check that out uh, especially if they left it up there it's probably got a lot of good information um, so let's see so I guess look this is like some detail behind their their AMA probably went over uh, their development team looks pretty huge if that's what that is um, constant growth within uh, the project so it also looks like they're gonna create a Myria verse or metaverse for the mit for Myria this node referral program I think I looked into that the other day. It's the, basically uh, you get massive rewards for inviting friends to get into their node program. Because obviously the more nodes they could create, the higher capacity that their blockchain or their project could run and bringing more and more people into the space, obviously. So looking at some of the graphics on some of the, the games that they have coming up are pretty awesome. I didn't dig really dig, dig, dig deep down into this, but looking at it now, it looks like... Uh, it's pretty robust so I don't know this looks like a very good project and I probably will invest in this project so I'm gonna start looking at an entry point I have to go through the charts and kind of look through that uh, as a matter of fact let's just go together let's head over to the charts all right so looking at their charts I actually went into the 30 day and it's pretty impressive I mean we had a um, Myria sitting at 0 0.004 and then currently we had a high uh, point actually zero yeah one cent so it looks like this project hit one cent not too long ago so roughly on the 28th of november wow that's pretty impressive to be honest with you especially coming from a low like that from 0 0.00 yeah so yeah where were we at 0 0.004 to join one cent so that's pretty impressive a lot of uh, positive already into uh, the project so looking at the market cap 78 million dollars um what do we have on the total supply 50 billion so it looks like 50 billion Myria tokens, max supply 50 billion. So not too shabby, doing pretty good actually for a newer project. Let's look at the all time. Oh, this is nice. This right here is a cup. This is what we call a cup. 
So this project actually may do some major moves up because this right here is a huge cup. And what happens is once you form a cup, you get this cup and handle where this shoots up. So you have a huge cup, handle formation, and goes up, up, up. So I don't know. This project actually may do some, some major moves pretty soon here because that, like I said, is a huge cup formation. And then you have form a little handle like that, and then it's off to the races. So... Wow, I actually didn't even take a look at this. So very good position for this cryptocurrency project looking right now. So I don't know. So there's a lot of positive things coming out of this project. I really like this project. Um, and, you know, if uh, it could actually uh, gain some more momentum or have access to Internet computer, that will put this project into something major um, farther from where it actually sits now. So let's head back to the video and close this one out. So looking at Miria, I think all in all, I guess my opinion to summarize everything, I think that this project is really good. It looks good. Um, it's actually sitting in a position to, to go up on the charts. Um, and if it could do, a, if this has the ability to cross into internet computer, there's no telling what this project could do specifically as a layer two built on Ethereum. Um, I honestly think it's really good. And my review on it is I really am going to look for an entry point to get invested into this project personally I think it looks good plus I believe that gaming is also going to do some major things in this up and coming bull run so, so all in all I think it's a great project hope you guys got something out of this take care and as always be blessed and thank you for tuning in to Run My Crypto